Marlon Vera is already looking ahead to his next potential matchup after his recent loss to Sean Ali at UFC 299. Speaking on the MNA Hour, Vera expressed his desire to return to the octagon in November, ideally facing former UFC bantamweight champion Ian. Recently revealed a series of injuries, including all urid ankle torn meniscus and groin injury, which will require surgery despite his loss to Am Ali Vera remains a top contender in the bantamweight division currently ranked at number 5, his eager to get back into the win column, and believes a matchup against Yan in November would make sense Ver acknowledged that Yan's recovery timeline might affect the feasibility of their potential fight, but expressed his willingness to face Yan. When he is ready Yan's injuries were confirmed via MRI prompting him to schedule surgery however he remains determined to come back stronger than ever given the typical recovery time for such injuries. A November return for Yan against Vera is plausible provided both fighters are healthy and ready to music. Compete Ariel Halwani, a renowned combat sports reporter, believes that critics need to give the UFC some leeway regarding the promotion's upcoming return to Brazil for UFC. 301 Halwani defended the UFC's decision to feature Alexander Panya defending his flyweight title against Steve IG as the main event despite criticism from fans and pundits Helwani pointed out that the UFC 300 card scheduled for Las Vegas has received significant attention and scrutiny with many calling for it to be stacked with high-profile fights given the focus on UFC 300 Helwani argued that UFC 3001 in Brazil might naturally have a less star-studded lineup as a result he suggested that criticism of the UFC's decision is unwarranted especially considering that many of the detractors likely weren't planning to attend the event in Rio de Janeiro anyway Helwani urged fans to be sensible and to understand that not every event can be as stacked as UFC 300. Ariel said this I think the reaction was a little much would it have made that big of a difference if it was Molly versus Panya is coming off a more impressive win if you are just being sensible about it all there isn't anything else if you want a stacked UFC 300 card on April 13th and that's what you all want and this is the byproduct my point is if you want to stack the deck if you want 300 to be what everyone wanted it to be and that's the greatest card of all time there's always the other side of the coin. There's always going to be one somewhat thinner card honestly I see a lot of people belly itching I would bet that 90% of people belly itching online don't live in Rio weren't planning to go to this event in Rio so what are you complaining about that this is a pay-per-view to buy it I think the UFC honestly needs to be cut a bit of slack here despite the criticism surrounding UFC 3001 Helwani emphasized that the fighters competing on the card will still aim to deliver exciting fights additionally the announcement of Jose Aldo's return from retirement for a home fight at UFC 3001 has added entry to the event although it hasn't completely shifted the narrative surrounding the UFC's long-term planning. Shan Strickland's recent comments regarding John Jones and Tom Aspen have sparked controversy and discussion within the MMA community Strickland known for his candid remarks didn't mince words when expressing his opinion about Jones and his perceived reluctance to face Aspen for the heavyweight title while acknowledging Jones' past controversies. Strickland urged him to sack up and fight Aspen implying that Jones should face the interim champion instead of Steichnick in his next title bout Aspen has been vocal about wanting the heavyweight title awarded to him and Strickland's remarks echo the sentiment that a fight between Jones and Aspen could be compelling for fans however Jones is currently expected to face Mick in his next title defense with their bout delayed due to Jones suffering a torn pectoral tendon whether Jones should prioritize a fight with Aspen over Mick remains a point of debate among MMA enthusiasts. Ultimately opinions on whether Jones should fight Aspen or make vary among fans and Strickland's outspoken views. Add to the ongoing discussion surrounding the USC's heavyweight division and its top contenders the potential matchup between Shafkat Rachmanov and Madalena is gaining traction following Jack's impressive victory over Gilbert Burns at USC 299-9 Rachmanov currently on a six-fight winning streak welcomed Madalena's call-out and expressed confidence in his ability to emerge. Victorious ranked number 3 in the USC's welterweight division Rachmanov's recent victory over Stephen Thompson has positioned him as a top contender for a title shot meanwhile Jack's knockout win over Burns could propel him to the number 4 spot in the ranking setting the stage for a potential title. Eliminator bout between the two. Fighters Shakat wrote this I respect your courage and confidence Jack but you will face the same fate as my previous opponents Jack's 7 fight win streak and his bold call out of Rachmanov have further fueled speculation about the matchup as both fighters seek to solidify their positions in the division. A showdown between Rachmanov and Madalena could be on the horizon offering fans an exciting clash between two top tier welterweights. Music. Ilya Tu's recent knockout victory over Alexander Volkanovsky at UFC 298 
catapulted him to the featherweight championship since then Toptara has expressed interest in potentially moving up to lightweight and challenging Islam Makov however Makov has advised Toptara to focus on his division and specifically on facing Zar Avlov who poses a challenging stylistic matchup for him Makov expressed confusion over Toast's desire to call out fighters from different weight classes and suggested that Toptara concentrate on his immediate contenders he believes that Ev presents a tough challenge for Toptara and could potentially defeat him due to his style while Toptara contemplates his next move rumors have circulated about a potential UFC event in Sets Bain where Tapura resides this could set the stage for his first title defense although former champion Alexander Volkanovsky is also vying for a rematch despite Mikachev's recommendation for Tapura to focus on his division make himself is eyeing a move up to welterweight for a potential bout against Leon Edwards however he had to decline an opportunity for UFC 300 due to Ramadan obligations so that's all from today's video if you enjoyed it remember to leave a like subscribe and ring that bell icon so you never miss our upcoming videos.